Hey guys. Okay, so I'm coming on with a mic. Yay. Um, it, I, I, I'm sure it's much easier to hear me now. Perfect. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a mic stand. The reason why I haven't used this mic is because I don't have a mic stand anymore. Um, I expected to buy a new one when I got here because my old one was janky. That never happened, so I got to get a mic stand. But anyway, I'm coming on with this extra message because something occurred to me. I was diving into investigating the, la the last full moon, right? Circumstances happened that led me to say, let me look at this last full moon because I really wanted to just verify that it was in Pisces. Um, just wanted to make sure because I never looked myself. My friend Robert told me and he's a credible source, so I didn't look deeper into it. I took it for his word. But I decided to investigate. And sure enough, um, what you see on the screen right now is the chart for September 20th, which is our last full moon. Sure enough, it was in Pisces. And if you look at it, as of about noon, <coughs> this is, I generated this chart at 1222, 222, yeah. But I gen generated this chart at 1222 today, and so that's why it has that time on there. Um, but if you look at the chart, the moon was conjunct Neptune around 1230 in the afternoon. And Neptune is in, Plu is in, is in Pisces, but Neptune is retrograde. Okay, so that stirred up a lot of shit, didn't it, right? And so that's a perfect uh, uh, description as to why I was feeling so deep, so dark and heavy during that time. And it literally was, now that I think about it, I had a big breakdown around 12 o'clock in the afternoon. It was like around 11, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So it was as the moon was conjuncting with, Pi with Neptune and crossing that conjunction that I was having this issue. Great. I just realized that in looking at the chart now. That's not what I wanted to tell you. What I wanted to show you was that the nature of that big emotion that happened during the last full moon is representative of the, very, of the fact that it was in the beginning of Pisces when this happened, the early stages of Pisces. So now, uh, oh, okay, so let me, let me, before I move forward, let me explain a little more. So it was in the beginning of the stages of Pisces, and so this can be... Uh, you can consider the beginning stages of any of the signs or the progression through any of the signs as you have the beginning stages in which like you're like a, a baby, you know, you're, you're born into that sign. And as you move through that sign or as the planet moves through that sign, it matures through that sign, right? So in the very beginning stages of Pisces, lots of big emotions, your inner child really coming through, your childlike sense of nature, um, emotional outbursts, stuff like that, you know, indicative of a, an immature being. Right. OK. And not to say there's anything wrong with that. I mean, you have to start as a baby and grow. You have to crawl before you can walk. So there's nothing wrong with it. Right. OK. That's great. So now let's fast forward. So we're going to fast forward to. We'll just go to today since it's today. Right. October 19th, 1222 in the afternoon. Uh, it's actually 1227 at the current moment. But anyway. We have the moon be uh, uh, opposing the sun again, which is creating this new moon. I'm sorry, with cr this full moon. And as this full moon progresses, if you look, like actually tomorrow, the, the, the full day of the full moon, right? It's at the very end of Pisces. And so we have emotionally matured dur during this time. So it makes so much sense to me, at least from my perspective, as to why... I'm looking at things from a much more mature way. I'm looking, I'm starting to look forward. I'm, I'm starting to get the intuitive dreams of the future that I can start to take action towards, which is representative of when the moon moves into Aries. By the 21st, the moon will be in Aries. And that's when your mind will be activated. That's when your, you, your mind will be, your subconscious reactions, your subconscious feelings will be action oriented will be single pointed focus oriented will be driving forward will be driven right so it makes sense as to why with the moon being in the going through this uh op opposition with the sun which is the full moon so the moon being full in pisces again but it's a much more mature energy this time isn't it you guys it's a much more expansive energy it's a, it's an energy of unconditionally loving being unconditionally loving and being able to see through unconditionally loving eyes as you have matured through pisces whereas opposed to the last one it was in the beginning stages of pisces so 
I'm over explaining now. So, so I wanted to, I, I wanted to share that epiphany that I had with you, um, because it's a really cool energy and, and I'm really, I'm really excited to continue focusing in this way to continue to track the progression of the moon and to track our feelings and how that resonates for us. I'm really super excited about this, you guys. Definitely let me know how this resonates for you, what you're experiencing at this time. The feedback is so incredibly helpful. I love you all, and I will look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yes? Mwah. Bye. <laughs>